it's early morning day two. Sun, it's not even sunrise yet. We just drove away about two miles from camp. We saw buffaloes. So uh, we saw two nice bulls and we just got off the truck and we're gonna put a stalk on and see if we can get close to them. Wind is perfect. Wind is good. Yeah, so we're in the right position here. They're about, maybe about 300 meters from here. So yeah, let's try it. Let's get it done. We're out here stalking for buffalo. We got a 35 yard shot on a golden wildebeest. It's in the sun, it was a rush rush shot. I think it's good, but it looked a little back to me. I did not see the penetration. I did not even see the impact where you shot him. But there's a lot of blood on you. You say you think it's back. According to the blood, it doesn't look if it's back. I don't think it's, I think it's just slightly behind the shoulder. Yeah, because blood wise, I don't think it's too far back. Good blood on it. There's blood on this grass, I think. Oh yeah, there's blood. And a bunch of blood right by your leg. Look at all the blood by your leg right here. Oh, look at Oh, oh look at the blood, yeah. Hold on. Hmm. Well, we got that out of the way, gentlemen. No more skin smell on us. Huh. Oh, oh! Like you said, fall back. Far back. But high. Yeah, but I guess he is a big one. He is a monster one. He is a big one. Buffalo spore this morning. We had a lot of excitement with buffalo. Yeah, how many times? We got close. Three times. Uh, we were at 63 and 40 once, but uh, it was a big herd and the wind was a little swirly and we were, sun was bad. But, you know, as we kept tracking around, it's been, this is day two now. Day two. Yeah, we got how many stalks yesterday? 
a dozen a dozen and look out just this morning just an hour but we got busted by the buffalo and we eventually saw this one coming down the trail and I saw him walking straight to us and we just went to a shooting lane and there he came past us and that's what I told you that's how we're gonna shoot have to shoot a buffalo we need to be he needs to walk past the trail well spot and stock in Africa is not as easy as it's people tough. make it think it's these animals know you're there like Dries is saying you're gonna have to post up find that animal post up with the wind and the Sun in your favor and wait in the shade for that animal move past right. you you're not just walking up to these animals and shoot them so this is a beautiful golden wildebeest and I, I appreciate it no you're very welcome this is a monster bull eh? you shot one big bull yeah congratulations well day two here in South Africa we're in the Limpopo province with Dries Weiser he was uh, kind enough to invite us down we're uh, spot and stock Cape buffalo hunting but you know you take what you get in Africa we're uh, we got close this morning on the Cape buffalo but this beautiful golden wildebeest presented a shot opportunity 30 yards it happened very quickly I made a marginal shot but a lethal shot he didn't go too far, a couple hundred meters, and we found him piled up. Not a lot of blood, but beautiful, beautiful animal. I mean, we've seen giraffe and just Cape Buffalo and Kudu and Impala and Warthog, and it's it's going to be a couple exciting more days. You guys get to come, come along with me as we just spot and stalk Africa. These animals know we're here. You, you can't hardly move. I mean, it's it's tough country to spot and stalk. So we're going to keep you stay tuned, but we got one in the bank and I mean, just a beautiful old bull. Botech did its job, gold tip did its job, and we used a specter broadhead. I'm, we'll keep using those on these uh, planes game and we got the grizzly sticks for that big black one when it happens.